David Morrell versus Homeboy. Oh Adios, Hierro Sinuli. Odd Records prediction. Hmm. David Morrell has only had seven pro fights, but he's already good enough or exciting enough to be headlining major TV cards against undefeated opponents on Saturday. Though, Adios vows to give Morrell the first loss of his career. He's everything you need to know. Here's everything you need to know about blah, blah, blah. After an outstanding Cuban amateur, Morrell has made waves in the professional boxing world, particularly by scoring impressive knock impressive knockouts. Uh, the kind of mainstream attention so early in his career has seemingly increased his confidence about what kind of damage he could put on his opponents. I feel bad for Adios, Morel said this week. He has no idea what's going on, and he doesn't know anything about boxing history. I'm going to teach him on fight night. I'm taking him to school. He has it coming. Was anybody crying when... When Morel was saying these things, was was anybody worried? Was anybody thinking to themselves, "Fighter safety"? While it's true, Yerba something doesn't have the name. Rick, <laughs> you'd have to change that fucking name of Morel. And while his opponents haven't been on the same level, Yerba Sinuli he thinks his extracurricular activities will help him in the ring. I'm a hunter. I like hunting, and it's part of our culture, right? Yeah, you know, he likes to shoot bows or arrows out of bows and, I don't know, maybe bullets out of guns at defenseless animals, right? It's hunting season. I'm here to hunt morale. Yeah, and that makes perfect sense, right, that a hunter would be a great boxer. <sighs> Is he really 100% dedicated to, to boxing, especially during hunting season? Plus, the fact that Yerbo Sinoli has sparred with... Ooh, he sparred with Canelo. Okay. There's nothing about morale that concerns me, right? The, gen the danger with boxing is that every fighter is coming to hurt you. Every boxer is dangerous. There's nothing special about him. I think that we are evenly matched fighters, but the difference on Saturday night is going to be that I'm the smarter fighter and I want more. Both fighters have talked about wanting to face Benavides, blah, blah, blah. Another stoppage win for Morel, right? Against an undefeated opponent probably wouldn't hurt either. I don't know. Could just be the height, but one guy looks much bigger than the other guy. Maybe he wasn't. I don't know. I don't care. I don't really give a shit about mismatches. Dangerous mismatches. Considering the Kazakh is a virtual unknown. Nobody knows this guy, right? It should not be surprising that Morel is a minus 1,000 betting favorite, right? So this is a huge fucking mismatch. If you are looking for a fun parlay for this weekend's action of boxing, and this is only for entertainment purposes, I might take Morel by KO, TKO, right? At minus 150, um, Bivo to beat Surto by decision at minus 200, and then some boys I'd never heard of. Morel's last five opponents have a record of 108, 6, and 4. Wow, that's pretty good. He beat Alantis Fox. That guy's, I've heard of that guy. Mario Casares, I heard of that guy. Lennox Allen, I don't know. Ooh. Yerbo Sinuli has fought mostly in Asia and Eastern Europe, and most of his opponents are unknown. So it's fairly hard to tell just how well he can perform, right? So you had an absolute mismatch, <clears throat> highly touted prospect with schooling versus some <clears throat> part time boxer. Uh, slash hunter from Kazakhstan that no one's ever heard of. And, you know, Morel was saying how 
he's gonna take no prisoners and he's gonna fuck this guy up, right? Was anybody concerned that something might happen to the Kazakh guy? Cause, cause I see tons of people after the fact, right? Virtue signaling, praying for the guy. Well, they write in the Twitter comments, right? In their Twitter feed that they're praying for the guy, but are they really? Fuck no! Come on, man! Nobody, none of these motherfuckers take time. They think that writing a Twitter comment is praying. That's what they think. Did any of these motherfuckers actually get down on their knees or whatever it is that they do? Because of the religion that, that they are, right? Did, did any of them actually look up at the sky, put their hands together and utter or any words praying for this guy? Did they? Come on. I mean, so... <clears throat> uh, you know, boxing is an inherently dangerous sport and deaths, injury, all that type of stuff will keep on happening and I'm perfectly okay with that, right? But the way the way to minimize this sort of shit is to not put in these bums against highly touted prospects, right? Uh, put David Morrell in the ring with someone who can actually beat him or will hit him hard enough to where Morrell's going to have to He's going to keep his hands more on defense, less on using to punch the other guy, right? Things of that nature. Uh, prevent low-blowing, head-butting, rabbit-punching, right? Get, get referees to enforce the rules of boxing because that makes the sport safer. And if a fight doesn't look like a mismatch going into it, but then turns out to be in the ring, well, then you got to get on it, referee, and stop the motherfucking fight, right? But stop with these mismatches, right? Just put these fight, put these guys in 50-50 fights from the very beginning. Why not? Why not? Right? Or, or okay, maybe two, three to one favor, no more than that, right? Where, where the other guy actually has some kind of a chance, you know what I mean? To fucking defend himself at, at the very least, right? There's a lot of shit you can do to make the sport safer than it already is, right? But no one actually gives a fuck because before the fight is signed, everyone's calling this guy a Kazakh bomb and Morel is going to kill him, right? He's going to brutalize him. He's going to put him in a hospital. He's going to break his jaw. You, you've heard it all, right? Like, it's not, you know... Well, no shit, he is. And then he does it, and everyone's like, oh, I'll pray for you. No, he, he, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, okay? Stop fronting, you fucking maggots, man. Just stop fronting. Seriously. Thanks for watching.